I'm about to show you something amazing because Chelsea, they are doing good business. I do not expect this. Oh, wow. What a business. We have the best people at the club. We have the best people at the club, guys. I will show you what has happened today. Things are moving just crazy, crazy. Wow. We're back again. I think we're back. And this is why a lot of people, they're getting jealous. I have seen you know symptoms i've seen them <laughs> the jealous symptoms they're coming out already there's some talking going on because we are spending again you know they forgot we got to lead up like a squad a group of people mainly all that guys went to saudi we got a little of, lot of players and there's some more going i can see she's no longer part of chelsea lukaku is gonna go i'm gonna come i'm gonna come to lukaku because there's some Thing happened with in that thing with Lukaku. My gosh, my girl, I have never seen that. I'll come to that. But right now, as I said, I've seen symptoms of jealousies all over Chelsea because we are spending and it's crazy. Your mind is gonna blow in away just like in the windy day. It's crazy. <laughs> Without wasting time, let's go to this. Chelsea have submitted form bid to Southampton for Lomel Rivera worth a 48 million fee. Negotiation ongoing between clubs as Liverpool last proposal was worth 45 and rejected. Wow, I didn't see this coming. <laughs> this is great news. Personally, I thought this is done. Chelsea, they are no longer on Lomel Reveal. Where all this came from? <laughs> Where all this came from? Chelsea, they were just watching Liverpool, you know, like, okay, just do what you do. We will come in. Lavelle at Chelsea. What? <laughs> what? It's a great midfield, I'm telling you. Great midfield. Liverpool. What? What is Liverpool doing? I thought they, had, they have done all this. I thought the deal is done. Lavelle is going to go to Liverpool. What are they waiting for? Chelsea, they have gone and put a bid in 48 million. Liverpool put 45 was rejected. I think Lever is gonna come to Chelsea. 48 million. Southampton wanted 50 million. That was like two weeks ago. Came out, they want 50, but 48! 48! So accept that money quickly. <laughs> accept the money. It's so Come on, come on. <laughs> now, I've seen a lot of people getting worried about that. If Chelsea get level, a Casado deal is stopped. It's, to it's like it's done. It's not done. We are getting a Casado too. This is what I'm saying. Today, it's crazy. It's mind blowing news. I, I cannot believe Chelsea are doing this. This is. The club is back. The club is back, absolutely. If we get Lavelle, Casado, and Kudus, everybody will be scared. Even City, they will be scared because we are getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. Oh my goodness, mate. This is... What word can I put? What word can I say? For my mind, we go and hijack the deal for Lavelle. Great midfield. Great. And to make it good, Southampton, they're in the championship. So 48... Come on, you have to accept that money. You'll never see it again. 48 million on the table. I jacked the deal. Very soon, we're gonna hear, here we go. Very soon, Lavio, here we go, we're gonna hear. Maybe tomorrow, maybe tonight. We'll never know, but let's see what's gonna happen. <laughs> Let me know down in the comments about that one. That one is a special one. Now, let's go to the good special one again on Casado because we got something to talk about and it's lovely, jubbly. Oh, you don't have, you don't want to miss this one. <laughs> Check this out. New Chelsea have a big dream to get Moses Casado by Sunday, either playing or present the player at Stamford Bridge. Relax, karma. You see? Relax, calm down. This is what Ferbisho said. Calm down. Casado be a Chelsea player. Chelsea, they are trying to do things quickly. So Casado on Sunday, he will be at Stanford Bridge in the game against Liverpool or at the bench. This is what Chelsea are trying to do. <laughs> Come on, you know, come on. This is what Ferbisho Romano. If, them, if, if Mr. Romano says, come on, you have to come on, come on. The guy knows how to do this. 
The guy knows how to search football spots. It's crazy. After crazy, you know, Chelsea are trying to do something special. It doesn't end here. Check another update. Chelsea have made progress in talks to sign Moses Casado, but Brighton are now holding their London club to a demand of 90 million basics fee. The Blues could then have to add a further 10 million to be made up in bonuses and expected cranes. Moses Casado only had his mind on Chelsea this summer. He didn't play on Sunday and this was not due to injury. I keep saying they are still in direct contact, negotiation ongoing, relax, calmer, calmer, <laughs> for a bishop man to say that. Chelsea internally have a dream to have him at Stamford Bridge on Sunday on the pitch of, or off the pitch, presenting the player Chelsea will try. Things you love to hear. Let's go to another one. Edo deal said to be done this week. Tara Adams said to alive for 20 million and 50 million bid for Laville. Wow, wow, wow. This is what I'm talking about. Chelsea, they have gone to another level. Another level I did not expect. Now, check the lineup. Look. This is an example what Chelsea can be next season. If we do this deal, let me just look at the midfield. Look, Casado, Lavio, and Enzo Fernandez. What do you think that's going to happen? We win the league. We win the league. Right? Are you with me? <laughs> Are you with me? We win the league 100% hands down because it's just crazy. If we get all those guys, and at this point, looks like we will. We will do that. <laughs> the transfer window is still open and Chelsea, they have just hijacked Liverpool. It looks like <laughs> they have just hijacked Liverpool for Lavio. Oh my God. If we have Lavio, like I'm saying, guys, we have Lavio, Enzo Fernandez and Moses Casado in the team. Ah, that's a kick butt. <laughs> that's a kick butt, my dear. I'm telling you, this is a good lineup when you look at it. Just the midfield. I wanted to show you that, guys. Now, let me know down in the comments. What do you think? I think we will expect something in the next 48 hours. Something is happening. I think. I think. Finger cross. Casedo announcement. Love your announcement on the table. And then we go to Caduce. Caduce, there is a rumor like things are getting serious. Wow. <laughs> Hands down, let's see what's gonna happen. Now, Lukaku is at the bridge and everyone in their mother, they are not happy. I'm not happy either. Check out this. Romeo Lukaku back at Cobham. There we go, Lukaku is back. Now, there's something happened because Juventus, they want Lukaku and the fans, they don't want Lukaku, they're Juventus fan. And it's kicking on. I've never seen this many people saying we don't want Lukaku. It's like the old stadium. Check out this. The old stadium, I think this is after the end of a game. I don't know which team Juventus they were playing. But the fans came in the pitch saying we don't want Lukaku. Just look at that. <sighs> Juventus fans invaded the pitch and are chanting we don't want Lukaku. It's crazy. Crazy. I've never seen this. This is hurt. <laughs> it's hurt, man. Uh, what am I going to say? I don't have a word. What have you done, Lukaku? What? My goodness, mate. What? What have you done? It's crazy. This is crazy. This, this, this is, you know, look, we're talking about football, right? Football, we don't want him, but this is another level of something like he has done something even himself is feeling it what have i done what can i do to fix it to fix this because this is just another level of insanity you know and if we keep talking up here it's just gonna be crazy talking and you don't want to continue talking about rukaku anyway but he has done damage to himself this is just damage to himself the guy has no decision, you know? It doesn't know where to go. This is what I see. Lukaku doesn't know where to go. Where to go, you know? It's confused. Doesn't know what to choose because Inter is sweet. Juventus is sweet. As Chelsea is sweet, but, you know, is undecided. It's, it has like six legs. It doesn't know. All those legs, they're everywhere. He doesn't know where to stay. And this is why 
the problem is like this look at the fans in the stadium they're like we don't want Lukaku crazy and that's Juventus uh, negotiation with Chelsea right now they want Lukaku now the fans they're saying we don't want Lukaku it's getting bad it's getting bad wow let me know down in the comment what do you think about Lukaku and Juventus crazy man wow <laughs> i wouldn't be surprised if this was inter milan fans just dressing up like juventus and going to juventus stadium and started saying we don't want Lukaku. i won't be surprised that can happen coming in the name of juventus right and then wear the juventus jersey and then just that we don't want Lukaku <laughs> because nobody knows who you you won't even know oh this is inter milan fan or this is juventus fan you won't know once they wear juventus fan they can they can just say i'm a Juventus fan what are you gonna do are you gonna say uh, are you, you are Inter Milan fan no 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 you won't know this is how it is in our days <laughs> so yeah it is sad very sad on Lukaku I have to say now I don't know which team is gonna want him because he has he burned the bridge everywhere 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 the bridge are burned it doesn't know where to go you know the bridge all burns down into ashes it is very sad very very sad West Ham are back into the transfer a lot of people they were talking about West Ham why West Ham they're not doing anything on this transfer market it is weird but they have signed somebody I did not expect they will sign this is huge for West Ham I have to say because this guy is a very good three kick taker it doesn't miss very good wow check out this West Ham completed the agreement to sign James Ward browse for 30 million here we go personal terms very agreed time to prepare and check documents soon medical to be medical to be booked this week as jacob steinbrook reported what a deal man this is a great deal for western they are getting there they are getting there and i'm not surprised western are doing this they have sold deck on rice for 105 they are using that money for this you know getting these all these players great signing wow <laughs> this guy can go to the top clubs and do well top top clubs and do well but West Ham they have done this and they, they have signed somebody right I forgot they have signed a great player I did a video I just forgot his name they have signed a great player and I was like wow West Ham they're putting up things huh wow so yeah let me know down in the comment what do you think about Ravia to Chelsea Chelsea hijacked the deal my goodness this this that was a that was a shocker for me I saw Ravia Chelsea go to hijack the deal I thought the deal is gone I thought Chelsea they have walked away Chelsea they want them oh kudos in um uh, I, I i wanted to say Inzo fernandez love you it's crazy casado it is crazy guys wow <laughs> i will see you soon let me know down in the comment about everything subscribe to isaac football club hit that notification bell you don't have to miss this see you have a lovely day god bless